Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and today I wanted to share with you about a new re-engineered design form factor for the 4G OTR antenna from WeBoost. Now in 2016, they debuted this antenna design. It came in two different form factors. One was 24 inches tall, and the other was 19 inches tall. And this antenna was really designed in mind to put on the side mirrors of semi-trucks. But initially, they marketed their WeBoost 4GX OTR kit to RVers as well. They now do have an RV-specific kit, but this antenna design continues to outperform the kit, the antenna that goes in with the RV kit in all of our independent testing. So this continues to be our top pick antenna kit with the 4GX. What they've done just recently is they have made this antenna shorter. For installation on an RV, that 24 inches, the antenna that was included with the 4GX kit, was just way too tall and a lot of people were having to find workarounds for installation, like putting them on a retractable mount of some sort, on a pole, or mounting it below line. With this antenna design, the antenna is actually just in this black kit. We call this the beer can part of the antenna. This is the active part of the antenna. This is what matters and this is what needs to be above any clutter on your roof. The stalk is just covering for the cable. It doesn't have impact on the actual performance of the antenna. So a lot of people would just mount this lower to the RV's roof so that this doesn't get whacked by a tree in a campground or by a low overpass because 24 inches, that's two feet tall, adds a lot of distance or height to your RV. With this new form factor, it is now 17 inches tall, so it's a lot shorter. For comparison, I've got this tape measure set to 24 inches, so that's significant for the default size and height of the antenna. Still, if you have a 13 foot six inch RV, adding this to the top of your roof is still going to exceed the max highway heights, but at least you're reducing your chances of it getting whacked. What they're doing now instead is they're including two of these extensions that just go right over the cable. So if you want it taller, you can make it taller. So there's two of these included. They are each, let's just measure them instead of going by specs, they're each about 14 inches tall. So you've got 28 inches that you can add to the length if you need it. Maybe it's a temporary install that might be really handy if you want to use like a suction cup mount or a temporary pole that you might put on the side of your RV. All right, so in the kit, they are also including the spring adapter. This adapter was only included with the 19 inch version of the antenna. And this is what we had recommended for most RV installations if you weren't putting it on a retracting arm because the spring gives you a little bit more leeway if the antenna happens to get hit by something, which is gonna happen on the, on the, the higher clearance. The 24 inch only included a rigid attachment. We at first were pretty excited thinking that you get to choose one or the other, but the way this kit actually works is the antenna diverter is built into the firm part. So in order to attach the antenna to their mounting bracket, you actually thread this through and then you, it comes out the side and then this is what would be threaded. Now, if you want to use the spring, actually adding on quite a bit of height to the whole contraption. So now when you measure the whole thing, if you're using the spring mount, you are now up to 21 inches. So you're only saving three inches over the old 24 inch form factor. The good news is the spring is optional if you don't think you need it. It is pretty darn stiff. I'm not sure how much tension it's actually going to relieve from a strike. So if you want to get rid of about three and a half inches of height, you can. That does get the antenna down some in its height, overall height. So really, compared to the old 19 inch form factor, you actually could get a shorter height than you can with this new form factor, unless you modify the stock on this one. Um, overall, it does give you some more flexibility in your installation options. If you need the extra height, the uh, mast extensions are now included. Um, the actual antenna itself does not have any differences. The specs remain the same. It is 2.5 to 3.5 dBi gain on all of the major LTE bands. Uh, it is omnidirectional. Nothing has changed about the actual antenna design. Now this antenna is actually
actually designed by a company called Antenna World down in Miami. We've met the designers of this antenna and they licensed it to Wilson Electronics who runs WeBoost and they have also now licensed the similar design to HiBoost which is another cell phone uh, mobile booster option. HiBoost also sent us their version of the antenna with their cellular booster and we have had it in testing as well against the 4G X OTR combination uh, to see how well they perform head to head. Our members do have access to that field testing results as well as our overall reviews. So it's really interesting to see two different antenna com uh, booster companies now utilizing this OTR design which does remain our top pick as a cellular booster antenna.